Hello everyone. We meet in the name of the Trinity, God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We light a candle as a reminder that God is always with us as we still ourselves in his presence. During our services on Wednesdays this year, we've been finding out more about the saints, God's holy people. And we have been seeing that saints are made up of a huge range of people, men and women, young and old, from every continent on earth, from long ago, right down to the present day. The saints are those who stand up for God's values and truth in different ways. One of the early saints we heard about was Hildegard of Bingen. I wonder if you remember her. She was a nun from Germany from whom we have more medieval music than any other composer. The person about whom I want to talk today is another nun from the Middle Ages. Her name is Juliana Berners. But she did not live in Germany. She lived here in St Albans. She'd never been formally called a saint but I think there is still a lot which we can learn from her life. Juliana Berners was born in the 1380s to a rich family. When she grew up, she became a nun at Sopwell Priory. You may know the ruins of a big house which were built on the site of the nunnery where Juliana lived. They are down Prospect Road, just on the far side of Erolamian Park from school. While Hildegard is famous for her music, Juliana is remembered because of her writing. Much of what we know about Juliana comes from what is called the Book of St Albans. This is one of the earliest books ever to be printed on a press, rather than being copied out by hand. And the first copies were printed here in St Albans in 1486. Although Juliana's book is called the Book of St Albans, what she wrote doesn't tell us anything about the man called Alban. But not to worry, we'll be learning more about St Alban in a few weeks' time. What is in the Book of St Albans is a record about the hobbies enjoyed by Juliana's family. It's a book about hunting and keeping hawks. Now these are not things that we do today, but there are lots of things in Juliana's Book of St Albans which are still relevant to us and worth us reflecting on today. Juliana was ahead of her time in saying that sport should be fair. That means no cheating. We need to remember this when playing with our friends. We need a set of rules when we play games like fo football or hockey, otherwise the game will be unfair and no longer any fun. And Juliana understood the need for environmental balance, conserving habitats in order to allow certain plants and animals to grow. These are ideas on which St Michael's School Eco Council are building today. And then thirdly, Juliana is remembered because she's one of the very first female writers in English. Her book of St Albans records the first known use of about 200 words in our language. How amazing is that? Juliana particularly liked collective nouns, words which express groups of things. We might talk about a flock of sheep or a herd of cows. Juliana wrote about a muster of peacocks, a sentence of judges and so on. Juliana was quite unusual in her day. She was fortunate to have been born in a rich family. And this meant that they had time and money for hobbies like hunting. And it also meant that they could afford for Juliana to go to school and to learn to read and write. Back then, this was rare, especially for girls. Things are very different in this country today, where everyone can go to school for free. 
The story of Juliana is a reminder to give thanks for the opportunities which we have to learn and to make the most of our time in school. There are still some parts of the world where children are not able to go to school. Don't think they're at home playing on their playstations though. They're out at work trying to make some money so that their family can eat and survive. So let's put some of these things which we've seen about Juliana Berners into prayer. God of justice, we thank you for fair play. Help us to stick to the rules so that we can treat one another as equals. Heavenly Creator, Help us to look after your world better. Guide the Eco Council to help reduce the carbon footprint of St Michael's School. And give strength to the world leaders who will meet later in the year in Glasgow so that they can start to reverse climate change. And God of Wisdom, thank you for the opportunity to learn, including the discovery of language which Juliana loved so much. We pray for children less fortunate than ourselves who may not be able to go to school and get such a good start in life. We summarise everything we want to say to God in the words which Jesus taught, the Lord's Prayer. So whether in the classrooms or at home, let's join in these words and say together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Juliana didn't tell us about her life with God, but she did share something of the world in which she lived, a world made by God and where she came to know God. Today's song therefore reminds us that God journeys with us through every moment of this day and throughout every day of our lives. Because of this he is the Lord of all hopefulness. <laughs> Oh, 
the last school service before half term. After the holiday, Mr King and I will be continuing these services by video for your classrooms. But alongside these, I look forward to pairs of classes returning to in-person services on a Wednesday morning, either in church or the paddock. And come the new school year in September, I really hope that we'll be able to get the whole school back together in church, including with parents at the back. Mrs Rafty will be sharing more information about these changes, how they will be done safely and smoothly nearer the time. Finally, next Sunday is Trinity Sunday. That's the date in the year when we celebrate God as three persons in one being, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So let's close today's service by saying words of blessing of God as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We say together, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.